Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank you so much for stopping by today, especially my new viewers and new subscribers. Thank you so much. Your kindness, your generosity, your support of my channel has truly been amazing. I never take that for granted. Subject of my blog today is uh, Filipinos. There's five ways to tell if your boyfriend or husband loves you. And this is in response to a request from one of my subscribers, B Wheels. Thank you. It's a great suggestion. Uh, you know, uh, it's a subject of contention. And because a lot of my viewers, a lot of my male viewers, they're from this men going their own way movement. And they somehow think that when you treat a woman special, uh, it's a sign of weakness. But I disagree with that. Uh, but they're, uh, you know, they're, uh, they have a right to their own uh, opinion, their own uh, the way they see things. But number one is he's physical with you in a good way. Uh, he wants to hug you. He wants to kiss you. He wants to make love to you. And Filipinas, let me say this, because this is always, this it always gets uh, shaky in this part. It's not because he's a pervert or he's a sex addict or that's all he wants. Men are wired that way, some of us. Some of us, we can't look you in the eye and tell you that we love you. But we can do it in action. And that's one of the ways that a man shows his affection. He shows that he loves you through the physical means. So, And it's another sign that he's lost interest if he no longer hugs you, kisses you, wants to make love. But that's the number one sure sign of a man loves you. A lot of us, we can't put it in words, but we can put it in action. So, you know, he wants to be physical. He wants to hug you. He wants to kiss you. He wants to make love with, with you. Uh, number two is he supports you. He's your biggest fan. Okay, so if you want to go back to school to pursue that degree that you didn't have time for uh, early on, he's going to be uh, behind you. He, he's got your back. Uh, if you want to start a family, he's going to support you because, see, this a lot of times means putting your needs in front of his. But it doesn't matter what you want to do. You want to work extra hours at work to support your family at home he doesn't have a problem with that he's your number one fan he wants to support you and he's going to be there every step of the way so he supports you ladies no matter what it is you're trying to do number three is he's proud of you he wants to take you around to his friends his family his co-workers and show you off He's proud of you. He adores you. He will literally kiss the ground that you walk on. Because he's put you on this pedestal. Not as some type of idol. Not to worship you. Because he's proud of you. He says, man, I love this woman. I'm so proud of her. She's smart. She's intelligent. She's beautiful inside and out. She's a great human being. She's a great mother. A great friend. Yeah, he's proud of you. He adores you. And he will... Kiss the ground you walk on. It's a sure sign that your man loves you and you're more than just a pastime to him, ladies. So, you know, but then again, if you're not paying attention to this stuff, these five signs that I give you, these five ways I give you, it's not going to mean anything. See, there's a lot of cultural differences between the foreigner and the Filipino, but there's some ways to easily tell if he's into you, if he loves you. Number four is he's going to spoil you. He wants to make sure you have the best things in life. He's going to do his best. He's going to give you his best to make sure that you have the best. The best clothes. The best house. The best car. He's going to spoil you. He's not going to spare any expense to make sure you're happy and that you're satisfied. This is a sure sign, ladies, that he loves you. He's going to do all the things that you ask him to do. He's going to spoil you, ladies. And number five, last but not least, he's always thinking about you. When you're not there, when you're not in his sight, he misses you. He doesn't forget your anniversary because you're special. He thanks his lucky stars every day that he sees you. And when you're not around, he misses you. He wants to be in your presence at all times. 
He thinks about you all the time. He remembers the day you met all the way down to every detail. Yeah. He brings you flowers. He brings you chocolate. Yeah, sometimes when you come home, he's already cooked. He's already uh, cleaned the house. He's made, he's run the bath water for you because you're special to him. He thinks about you all the time. He places your needs above his. Yeah, he thinks about you all the time, see? And if he forgets your birthday, your anniversary, when you met, how you met, and all, that's a sure thing, ladies. See, there's some things that are not on the list because these are flashing red lights for you to throw him back in and start over. Number one, he's controlling. See, now don't confuse that with uh, he's always thinking about you. He always wants to be around you. He misses you when you're gone. Don't confuse that with that. See, a controlling man is dangerous. Jealous it's number two. I didn't put that on the list because a dangerous man, a jealous man is also a dangerous man. He always, uh, don't confuse that either with always wants you in his sights. No, that's something totally different. See, people that are jealous, jealousy is a form of insanity. So once again, Filipinas, this is my message to you. Five ways to tell if your man loves you. Your husband or your boyfriend loves you and you're more than a past that. Number one, he wants to get physical with you all the time. In a good way. He wants to love you. He wants to hold you. He wants to kiss you. Not because he's a sex addict. Not because he's a pervert. Because that's how some of us express our love for you. We can't put it in words. We can put it in action. Number two, he supports you wholeheartedly in whatever it is you're trying to do. You want to go back to school? Go ahead, I got your back. You want to work a few hours to take care of your family that you left behind over in the Philippines because he knows you are the breadwinner. He has, a, he has no problem with that. He's your number one fan, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, so he supports you. Number three, he's proud of you. He adores you. He wants to take you around and show you off to everybody. And it kind of goes with the next one. He spoils you because guess what? He loves you. He adores you. He always wants to be around you. He wants to make sure that you have the best that life has to offer. And he's going to do his best to provide the best for you. He wants you to look your best when he prances around town with you. He's proud of you. He's going to hook his arm in your arm. He's not going to be ashamed when his friends come around. He's not going to be ashamed of you. He's going to put you on a pedestal, not to covet you, not to idolize you, because he will literally kiss the ground you walk on. So he's proud of you. Number four, he's always thinking about you. He's always thinking about you. He does, he remembers when you met, how you met. He remembers your birthday, your anniversary. These things are important to him. He thinks his lucky stars that you're in his life. Ladies and gentlemen, trust me on this. There's a lot of cultural differences, but it's easy to know if your man loves you. He wants to get physical. He supports you. He's proud of you. He spoils you. And last and certainly not least, he always wants to be around you. He doesn't matter if y'all work together. When you get home, he still wants to take you to dinner. And when you're not there, he misses you. He's not trying to be controlling. He's not jealous. But he adores you, ladies. So thank you so much for stopping by. And thank you, B. Wills, B. Willis. You know who you are, and I appreciate you for this suggestion. It's long overdue. If you're in America, it's already late. I hope you help somebody. But if you're on one of those late grocery runs, beer runs, weed runs, you're just getting off second shift, or you're on your lunch break on third shift, and you see somebody in the street, buy them something to eat, buy them something to drink, give them a couple of dollars. If you're in the Philippines, it's about 10.30 a.m. You still have the whole rest of the day to find somebody to help. Millions and millions of people over here have lost their jobs. They need help, especially the children. There's no excuse why you shouldn't intentionally go out and find somebody to help today. Buy them a kilo of rice. It's only 50 pesos. Buy them a kilo of fish. 
Do something to make a difference in their life today. Because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. We help other people, we help ourselves. Take care, stay safe, stay COVID-free, and I'll see you next time.